Hello everyone! In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create three types of intro videos using Canva. If you are presenting your presentation or making your videos on YouTube, I'm sure that this design will fascinate your audience. Now let's get started with the first one. And this is the second intro video. With the last one, I used paper cut effect, which I will show you later in the video. Okay, now let's get back to Canva and let's get started with this tutorial. If this is the first time you visit my channel, don't forget to click subscribe. And let's get started with this tutorial. First on the home page, click video. I usually choose this because it gives me the interface so that I can easily adjust the timing. Now let's go to the background section. Here we can adjust the color of the background. Well, for some reason, I always go for the pink orange color for all of my designs. And the theme that I chose today will be about peach. So let's go to the element and type in the word spinning peach. And here we will have the spinning peach like this. We'll put it at the center of the canvas. Okay, so for previous videos, I've shown you how to adjust the timing using numbers, right? In this video, you can adjust the timing by dragging the time frame back and forth like this using your mouse. Then you can add the text using this font. This is probably one of my favorite fonts so far. Here is one tip that I want to show you. Okay, you can go to the brand and then set up your own color panel. And you can use these colors to make your design more harmonious. Okay, now let's take care of the dots. You can hit Ctrl C and Ctrl V to copy this text and turn it into the dot, like this. You can make several copies of them. Three is probably my favorite number, so I only make three dots. So for the first slide, the thing that you need to do is to scale up the first dot and then you have to click on this line and hit ctrl d to duplicate it so for the second slide i will scale up the first dot and then scale down the second one so it's pretty much the same step that i'm gonna use for the rest of the slides So for this panel, you can choose your favorite font and then add some effect on it. Here I would go for the shadow effect to make it more visible. Next, we will create the subscribe button using squares in the shapes panel. To adjust the layers, you can hold down these keys. There's another favorite phone that I would love to recommend you, which is Now. Okay, now let's go to Element and type in the word Click. As you can see, there are different illustrations and also chips so that you can use in your video okay i would just go for this one because we're adding the clicking shifts right here so i would adjust this frame down to one or two seconds 
Okay, so this is the fun part. You can type in the word piece of peach and then choose several illustrations that you like. Later on, we will make these pieces of peach move. So the result will be a moving background. After a while, I have pretty much finished with the background. And now let's hold down Ctrl and A key. So that's how we can select all of elements in one second. After that, let's go to animation and I will just choose the float one. It's kind of aesthetic somehow. For this frame, I would adjust it to 15 seconds. Okay, now let's go to the three dot section. And now you can download the last slide choosing this section okay now it's time for you to upload the video that you have just downloaded okay now i will put that video to the slide that contains the clicking mouse so it's better to decrease the opacity of the video so that it won't you know outshine the main elements okay the thing that we need to do right now is to make the mouse click only once I will duplicate the slide first and for the first slide let's make it 6 seconds and for the second slide I will cut the rest it's very important to delete the mouse on the second slide Okay, once again, you can duplicate the first slide and for the first of the first slide, I would adjust it to 3 seconds. And for the second one, I would cut the rest. Okay, now we'll make it smoother by adding some transition effects. I would go for the disappear one. I think this is the best. Okay, now you can click here to watch the video before you download it. So for the second introduction video, I would go for torn paper at the background session. Okay, so you can type in the same word in the element section. And then I would just choose torn pieces of paper and put them all in four corners. So if you are looking for more illustrations, Pinterest is the best place that you can find. Here you just need to right click the mouse and then copy the picture. I will put it on Canva and let's remove the background of it. If you are not having a premium account, you can access another website where you can remove the background for free. You can just type in the word background remover on Google and that's how you can save some money.
Okay, I will show you how to create white border around the illustration. Okay, it's kind of very tricky. First, you gotta add the shadow for it. I would just go for this one. And then, I will adjust the opacity and the shade of it. Okay, remember to choose the white color. Okay, so it's pretty much the same one that I showed you before. You just need to duplicate it using Ctrl D Shift key. Okay, now it's very important to group the whole elements together. Not the whole, but uh, several parts of it. I would divide it into three main parts. You just need to use your mouse and hit Ctrl G. And then we will have three separate parts. Okay, now let's go to the second slide, and for this one, I'll just drag down the three parts a little bit back to the borders. I will just repeat the same method in the third slide. Okay, so you can create more slides if you want, because this is a tutorial video, I don't want to take too much time for this, so I would just go for six slides only. Okay, let's move on to the third template. The theme here is kind of the same with the second intro video, which is torn paper. But for this one, you can add some more interesting illustrations, such as Instagram posting. Copy some images from Pinterest and I got some torn newspapers, butterflies, dried flowers, and put them randomly on the background. The next step is to make the crumpled paper effect. First, you will need to go to the element and find the torn frame. Then, we will insert the crumpled paper illustration into the frame. Let's hold down the Ctrl D keys. Now you can change the frame a little bit, so there will be differences between the slides.
For the last slide, you can insert a paper bowl. It's kind of a very creative way to wrap up your video. Now we've finished. Thank you for watching, and I will see you on my next video.